Hey, what's up, Body Bags? Andrew here, and um, yeah, welcome to Shot on Video Week. Um, full disclosure, I've never seen a Shot on Video film before, so this is my first time. And I started off with what I was told was a, a was one of the best ones. So um, I chose The Burning Moon from 1992. This is a German film, and I found that out, and I'll tell you why in a minute. This is essentially an anthology film, tells different stories. Um, shit, I don't even have the, I, I can't rem I can't remember <laughs> the, but it's basically one is about a, a killer, um, killing people in, in this, in this, uh, neighborhood, and then it devolves into this house, and then I cannot remember for the life of me the story of the second one. Um, the funny thing is, is that I chose this because I was like, I don't have one and I don't have time to buy it right now so I was like well I'll just choose one that's on YouTube so I chose one that's on YouTube and then I was like I got to watching it and I was like shit it's all in German so I was like well and it didn't have American subtitles so I was like shit and I was looking for it everywhere trying to find it online and I was like well I don't have enough time so I just finished I watched it for the visuals so I can I can give you a review of the visuals here so the story progresses just fine visually um, the editing is a little wonky in certain places, um, but it's just because I'm really, really being pay able to pay attention to it. You know, these movies, though, are made for the budget of very minuscule. Um, basically, I was just like, huh, that's interesting. So um, basically what I found is that the stories progress very nicely <coughs> and that uh, this is actually has some really good shots in it. The cinematography, for as low budget as these films are, um, I was really surprised by how how big the the um, how like well shot it was. It has some really good camera angles and everything like that. And so, um, yeah, it was just it was something something that I was really really taken back by. And then after that, I also noticed the special effects were and excellent in this film um so i that's one of the things that with with this film for sure certainly i will give this one another watch and i hope from now like next time i watch it i could actually wa watch it in american subtitles so i could you know get the get the gist of what's happening with the story and get the uh, but i will say this the acting is very very bad but it is what it is with the the kind of budget that they have. I, I can understand they didn't have that much uh, to work with. So that's fine. It's all, I forgive that. Um, but yeah, uh, if I were to give this a rating, oh man, if I were to give this a rating, I would give it a six and a half out of 10. I'm going to give, I'm going to reserve my rating for it to come higher for a, for a future time whenever I'm able to give it a, uh, a better better look. So I will give it a six and a half for now, and that score will probably come up with repeated viewings and viewing in a language that I can understand. So uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, be tuning in next week. We go back to doing random reviews next week, so I'll have some quite a few really good, good uh, movies that I will have watched this week. So be checking out for that. All right, guys, peace.